solving equations with indices. Have a look at this equation. The base here is 2, here it's 8, and here it's 4. Before we can solve this equation, we should change all of the bases so that they are all the same. And using a base of 2 is a sensible way forward. So let's look at the denominator here. 4 to the power of x plus 2. So 4 can be written as 2 squared. That's the 4, 2 squared. That's 4 to the power of x plus 2. So 2 squared to the power of x plus 2. And because this is a power on power, we multiply these. So we have 2 to the power of 2x plus 4. And on this side, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. This is 8 to the power of x plus 3, so this is 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 3. Using the power on power rule for indices, we multiply the 3 with the x plus 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3x. And 3 times 3 gives us 9. So we have 2 to the power of 3x plus 9. So the equation now becomes this, and we have a base of 2 throughout. I'm going to simplify the left hand side because we're dividing. The bases are the same so we can subtract the indices. So we need to be careful with the signs here. So 2 to the power of x plus 1 and because I'm about to put a minus here I'm going to put everything else in brackets. So the power there 2x plus 4 is equal to this. And then simplifying 2 to the power of x We've got plus 1, a minus 2x, and this sign here, a minus and a plus, will give us a minus, which is equal to this, and then 2 to the power of, so we have x minus 2x, which gives minus x, and there's 1 minus 4, which gives minus 3. So all of this is equal to 2 to the power of 3x plus 9. Now, because we have uh, single terms on each side, the base on each side is exactly the same, which means these indices must also be equal. So I can say that minus x minus 3, so the power here, should be the same as the 3x plus 9 here. So adding x to both sides, gives 4x plus 9, subtracting 9 from each side, so then 4x is equal to minus 3 minus 9 minus 12, and then the last step here, just dividing by 4, x is equal to minus 3. And just to prove that minus 3 is the solution, now you wouldn't do this in the C1 exam because it's non-calculator, but just to show you that all of this is um, uh, is correct. Fra uh, we've got a fraction there, 2 to the power of uh, x was equal to minus 3. So minus 3 plus 1. Over 2 to the power of 2 times minus 3, so that's 2 to the power of 2x plus 4. And that gave 1 there, the answer was 1. Now let's try the same on the right hand side. So the right hand side should be equal to 1 as well, if the solution here was x equals minus 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 times x plus 9 and the answer is also 1.